Are you guys still going to Orlando next weekend? Yeah, we, we still. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll be in Orlando next weekend. Oh, yeah. It was for a birthday. Birthday. Ryan's birthday. I tell you. Okay. Okay, I'm smiling. Okay, so it's a black thing podcast. You can hear me well? You can All right, so it's a it's a black thing podcast, episode 95. Uh take one. Action. Came a long way from the bottom, start with slavery. They put some chains up on our back and made us work for free. Now we got whips and we got chains, but that won't work for me. And if you call me out my name, you better call me king. Cause that's the only thing I see. And I'm surrounded by my queens, we dominate. And everything we make away, they make a scene. They kill the man just for a dream, that's what they hate to see. You wasn't marching in the streets, you can't relate to me. I'm sorry, it's a black thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so what's going on? Uh, yeah, what's going on, man? Welcome back to this Black Thing Podcast. If you don't know who you listen to, let me introduce myself as myself. My name is Lulu954. You feel me? I, you understand? I am the short assassin. You feel me? I am the I'm the shortest seven six nigga you ever met in your life. You understand? Because I'm like tall in stature, but like short in height. It's it's weird. It doesn't make sense. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> we in the building. Um. We in the building. I have with me a uh, lovely Giddy G Love in the building. You feel Hi, me? Hi, I'm you know, back again. She back again. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't have Stephanie here right now, so we, got we someone better. We bitch. oh right. shit! Oh, oh wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait! Wait a can minute! Can I give you an introduction? <laughs> no, I can I give you an introduction? You know nah, man, we giving out here introduction, nah, nigga. I'm here, baby. What's Mr. up, Mr. Man on the soundboard, <laughs> Mr. I press the buttons, Mr. Right. Production in full, Mr. Go ahead, go ahead. No, <laughs> he's done. He's done. <laughs> um, sounding good out here. Go ahead. He's like, I got it all on the camera, boy. See your ass in 4K. <laughs> how y'all doing? Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. How y'all doing? I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. How y'all doing? I'm doing. I'm doing amazing. How's y'all, how do y'all week go? Y'all had a great good. week. Good. Do you guys not see this glow? I'm like glowing. Yeah, she looking glowing. <laughs> Shit, looking, looking lavishly. Period. Oh, hold, right. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, summer we gonna, full of we gonna turn it back over to Giddy. You understand? All right, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Dark and Lovely. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sexual Chocolate. You understand? Stop it. Stop. I'm she blushing. like. She like. She like. She like. Listen here. It don't matter what side you get. It's my good side. <laughs> No such thing as a bad side. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you had a great week. What, I had what, a good what week. What you guys got into this week? What y'all did? Life. Life. Yeah. Okay. You feel I me? Mean? It's a new day. Okay. New blessings. New lessons. Okay. Man. My so, dog. My dog. Yeah. Is number one in his life. Okay. I feel you. I already know, man. I'm all about it, baby. What's up? It was typical for me. Same old. I think as I go on through my weeks, it's just about your energy, your attitude about the week. You know, mm-hmm. like every day is a Friday to me. Ooh, yeah, I ooh, like that. Shit, I yeah. like that. That's big energy. I, I fucks with yeah. that. Every day's a fucking Friday. Hey, man, more people need to start thinking like that, for real, for real. Because motherfuckers be waking up and they were like, God damn, it's a fucking Monday. What you yeah. know what's great on Mondays? The It's a Black Thing show is dropping out every episode on a That's Monday. Right. So you go ahead and listen to us on all of our streaming platforms, mm-hmm. which is Apple Music, mm-hmm. uh, Spotify. You can check out YouTube. The video may come out on Tuesday. Uh, but you can- <laughs> You can still check us out on all other streaming platforms to get your daily dose of of blackness. You know, start off your good week mm-hmm. like on a Friday. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Don't think the weekend end. Guess what? The weekend end because guess what? This black thing show came on. That part. I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to shows on Friday, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we drop on Mondays now, right? Yeah. So. Cause yeah, you like I ain't trying to listen to niggas speak. I'm trying to turn. I up. listen to stuff on my commute to work. I'm like, okay, let yeah, me listen exactly. to the on, podcast. On a Friday, but now, now on your way back home. <laughs> she yeah. like that music playing. Yeah, exactly. She like no. she take it, you take you take it off your clothes. Like <laughs> no, cause you know, like nine to five be busy as hell. So yes. most of the times I'll have my podcast playing. Cause what else is there to do? I don't yeah. know. Because right. when I listen to music, I'm like such an aggressive driver. Mm-hmm. So I try, like, if I'm listening. Your little fishbowl? <laughs> 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 Yo, my mom ain't got no tits on her shit. We're not going to 
that's not where we're going yeah, right yeah, now. No, no, no. I say to all women out there, because y'all like driving around <laughs> with full transparency. All right, put some tents on y'all windows, man. It's a story behind that. Oh, wow, what is it? For what you think for all women or just you? No, for me. Oh, what's the story? Who, who broke into your car? No, no, no. <laughs> See, my child's father was supposed to do it for me. Nah. But then, like, we had broken up like, right Wait, before. No, no, no. <laughs> so it just never got done. <laughs> and I'm prideful. I'm not going to ask you. Like, Listen, if we're done, any, I'm not. <laughs> any, any nigga who fucking with Giddy, you better try to put some tits on her car right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. You I'm want, not used to it no, now. I've but, had the car for years no, now. A nigga going to try to solidify his spotlight. Let me, put you, let me, let me take your <laughs> shit to Swap Shop. Get your shit done on a Tuesday. <laughs> it's just not that big of a deal to me. I know when you be cutting people off, people be looking at you mad. Well, you got the full transparent. They can see your face yeah. and everything. Like, I know you look stupid. I know. Especially when you cut them off and you reach them at the light. You're like, I can see oh you. Oh my bitch. God. I can see you. Yeah, I'll just act like I'm on my phone because I won't look up. <laughs> like, that's why you always cut me off because you're on your phone. Look at that. <laughs> Scary ass. You all look at them dead in they shit. Like, now well, what? you guys are from Lauderdale, okay? So that's different. <laughs> oh, yeah. My approach yeah, is yeah. very different. Is different you know I mean? It's very different. It's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, they be like, they they so close. They like it's so such a small place, and everybody know each other. Like I'm, I might see this person again. Yeah. So let me be polite, right? <laughs> Shit, as big as Broward is, we still see everybody all over again. Nah, but y'all just live life on the edge. Yeah. See, I don't do that. I, I do live my life slightly dangerous. Yeah. I'll be out here raw dogging life sometimes. Yeah, sushi wow. game. I know. Nah, um, nah, because uh, I be don't wear my glasses and shit. No, he really don't wear his glasses when he drives. Yeah, dog. He got the nerd to speak with me in the fucking car. Like, my <laughs> life don't fucking matter. Like, well, I don't <laughs> wear mine either. I, well, at night I have to because I, I really I'll wear it if see. I don't know where I'm going. A bunch of fucking daredevils on no, this show. Right? But <laughs> if, if my makeup is done, my face is beat at night, sometimes I'll just like, <laughs> like I'm not going to mess up my what? makeup so right the, now. The glasses will mess up your makeup or something? It, it just leaves a little mark. Oh, and okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll... <laughs> I just listen for what I don't like the way how glasses make my head look. My head looks like a bowling ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you look like I look like an extra nerdy ass nigga. You, you don't have the ball. right frame though. Uh, yeah. I know you gotta, you gotta find the, uh, the right shape. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. But the glasses that I like to wear, they don't fit my face, and I'm sitting here like I don't need. If I ever you ever see me big ass glasses, those for style, bro. Those are not for me to see. Yeah. Anything that's like small, I prefer my glasses small, yeah. just like this. I oh. like be squeezing the shit out of his head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you like yo, oh. you know how niggas be wearing the glasses? You see the little lines on the side of their fucking head, yeah. like nigga. I know your ass can't see for real, for real. <laughs> you wear your shit all the goddamn time, dog. <laughs> Do you feel like Steve Urkel when you have your glasses on? Nigga, I feel retarded. Yeah, honestly, uh. when I take my hoes off, I'm Stefan. You feel me? Uh. When I put them hoes on, I Urkel again. Steve Urkel again. Yeah. So. Oh, Urkel. <laughs> 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 Do the Urkel dance. <laughs> yeah, listen, get it. Your awe is. is I know. It's so I know. It's so she think, she think like, oh, you know, this will make you feel better. But like, nah, man, get your get your get, get your pity in this off me, dog. <laughs> oh, it's like a Urkel. Like, oh my god. That's how white women be sounding, bro. <laughs> I'm singing tired of y'all making fun. Yeah. She, she gonna turn ratchet on us. I'm sorry I didn't grow up in Lauderdale. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah we, it's a lot to bring the ratchet out you, man. But <laughs> it's okay, man. You'll, you'll get there soon. But hey, Lou, man, you want to get into some black market, though, man? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start this black market. La, la, la. <laughs> I don't have the sound effect today, yo. <laughs> Wait till I get my money right. right. Oh. La, 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 la. Wait till I get my money right. Yeah. All right. So for my black market pick, you know, it's a lot of things going on. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? As a for, as a black woman. For black women, <laughs> I know you a lot of times you feel me, y'all have y'all, y'all, y'all like to y'all go to a hair store, maybe like, hey, I got a I got an eight o'clock appointment. Let me go her quickly, her go go to hair store. You know, people like Monique out here talking shit like, oh, why the hell you out here walking around with your bonnet on? You feel me? My my hair not done yet, bitch. What the hell am I supposed to do? So I, we have this lovely product. You can check out their website, which is Yannick Lopes. I hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I'm gonna spell it out for you. Y H A N I Q U A L O P E S dot com. You can check out, they have like these bonnets. They bonnets, they look just like bonnets, and them hoes, 
transform in head wraps. You just swoop that thing over. You feel me? So people ain't gonna be like, yo, like you already this is the type of hysterical, typical, like, oh, that's ratchet and ghetto. Listen here, you can suck my fucking <laughs> ass, nigga. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and now you can go ahead and rock out these nice lovely bonds. They got in multicolors. It's actually it's in a, it's Afrocentric, you feel me? So they have lovely African patterns. I don't even know what some of these things are called. The 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 yellow one, the green one, the blue one. What? Like the, the, the colors, colors, the color schemes, the, the yeah, flag? Yeah. yeah. Like I, I don't know the exactly name. Well, first of all, they have, uh, they even have like almost like a dashiki one. You already know, niggas can kill. Oh, they over kill that Kenya cloth type. Kente cloth, yeah. So, mm. but they actually, it's made out of silk, so you know it's perfect. It's lovely. It's yes. not even that expensive. Y'all go ahead check out their website, and that is my black market pick. Black market. You know my price went up. You know my price went up. So what y'all talking about today? Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, yeah, about all right. Everything. Hold on, I'm talking about a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with some randomness first. Um, <laughs> uh, it was something. It's something. This is completely irrelevant, but it was something that I encountered. Um, have y'all ever? Y'all live inside a house full of people before, right? Yeah, my you. siblings. You, you got like yeah. a bunch of people. Who what about you, Joe? Yeah, you got like two hundred niggas in your household. Um, I remember oh. I I had this thing had occurred to me uh, actually this week. It was I had my toothbrush my toothbrush used, bro. I had my toothbrush. How used. you know though? Huh? How you know? Because when I got it there, was it was wet. already like wet. Yeah. And I'm sitting here like maybe they washed it for you in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> in their mouth. Yeah, nigga, in mouth I mean sometimes you probably grab the wrong one And, and, and that's the thing too And I was like In that scenario I just get a new one but Yeah that's just how I was, I was gonna keep it What the hell I'm nah, like bro if, if my toothbrush even fall inside of the sink I throw it away yeah. Exactly bro listen, listen here that's Listen disgusting. here if, Listen here If it don't <laughs> That's pause If it don't go in my mouth It's not good no more <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> if, if, if it goes anywhere but my mouth is not good no more, pause. So I'm like, nah, bruh. I was I was extremely <laughs> just upset. Trying to work that out, get it? Yeah. I think I got it. <laughs> I'm talking about my toothbrush. <laughs> I'm talking about my toothbrush. You see how I was trying to be discreet with it? Let me just be quiet. Uh, she like, she like, she like, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, sir. <laughs> and it was, it made me worse. Things like it was like it was my daughter because she has a green toothbrush too. And I'm sitting here like, bruh. I swear to you, bruh. Like, why did you come out here and just like straight grab my shit? You you have a whole cap. On yours, which is like specifically, I got you the cap so you can identify that this one's yours. Yours had this little uh, pink thing on there. This cap is yours, and she's like, "Hmm, this one without a cap on it, this is mine." <laughs> no, nigga, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, how you fuck that up? I mean, you went wrong by getting her the same color toothbrush as you. Yeah, you fucked up. No, actually, no, because that's not her original toothbrush. I got her a mechanical one. Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, okay, I'm like, listen here, you want to? Cause you know, kids they want to have fun, so I like, yeah. you can have like a son, you just power on. I'm yeah. like, cool, use that one. She doesn't even like using it. I'm like, then what was the point of me getting it? But that's besides the point. Whatever. And then the dentist gave her a fucking green one, and she's like, oh, I like this one. I'm like, motherfucker, now I have to get a fucking new toothbrush. Luckily, see, because of her, I learned like, listen here, I keep like mad packs of toothbrush in my mm-hmm. fucking house because of that shit. Yeah. I was like, this shit is trash. Oh, <laughs> this shit is trash, bro. You know how you know how this because it made you. Does, really, does it really matter? Like it was yeah. it, one because yeah. I, I was trying to start my day, and I was like, all right, bet I'm gonna start my day. I'm about to eat, so I was like, all right, I got my food ready, whatever. I like, let me brush my teeth, get ready to eat. That shit like fucked up the whole vibe. I like, I can't even get to my food yet, nigga. Aww. So I was like, man, mother. I done sling my shit. You know, brush your teeth with your with your um, fingers. fingers. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, let me tell you how <laughs> <laughs> I've, 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 I've seen niggas brush their teeth with leaves, my nigga. How? I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I know. So <laughs> yeah. you yeah, gotta do what you gotta do. We but can't they, judge. At yeah, least they're yeah. taking the initiative to, to brush their the teeth. Hygiene. So yeah. it was more like I was like, bro, I was like, you just like fucked up my whole vibe, bro. Yeah. Mm. Fucked up my whole vibe. I mean, but you chewed your daughter food and and like. Suck the snot out of her nose when she was a kid before, right? Like, do no. y'all, y'all don't do that? No, I, I, no, I wasn't present. 
You a deadbeat ass nigga. <laughs> 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 he said, You a deadbeat ass nigga. Wow, that escalated real yeah. quickly. <laughs> no, I ain't never sucked the snot out of her nose. No. Her dad has. Yeah. I, I've never done yeah. it. So, yeah. he, he booty? <laughs> Shit, if he don't eat ass, but he out here sucking snot out of nose and shit. That'd be some crazy shit, bro. Right? Why are you doing this right now? <laughs> My man's out here not eating booty. <laughs> he not just, doing it for real. Imagine that. Like, you asked me to eat your booty, he be like, nah, I ain't doing that. That's, That's nasty. nasty. <laughs> suck the snot out of my daughter's nose, but you won't eat this ass, nigga. Like, nah, that's that's wild. You gotta leave him after that. <laughs> Uh, hold on. All right, let's get into this shit, bro. All right, I know sometimes like um, there was a there was a situation. Uh, the woman she was saying, uh, oh, everyone was like, oh, for, uh, we're gonna backtrack for like Qu- Quavo and uh, Sweetie Twally, mm-hmm. Sweetie uh, Tweety, Tweety, whatever, her, whatever. Her name wow. Is. Um, I, mm-hmm. hey man, I can't read that well, so. <laughs> the fact that you keep repeating it is yeah. making me starting to think that maybe you really can't. Hooked phonics. That's going to be the Christmas <laughs> game. <laughs> Them letters be moving around when you're trying to read. I, listen, <laughs> I might be dyslexic for real, for real. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty good at math. So that's, that's, so that takes me very far in life. Um, uh, for In the relationship, you know, everyone was talking about, oh, like, okay, getting back, he brought her a car and then he was like, oh, no, like, I need that back. Yeah. So it made me start thinking like, okay, like, have you ever been an Indian giver? Damn, I think that's a slur, first of all. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Right. We're not going to do, just do a whole bunch yeah. of racial yeah, slurs on the show. Just change the Caucasian giver. How about that? But we can't call it Indian wow. giver. First of all, Caucasian, they're not giving nothing back. They're taking and keeping it for themselves. They would take it to a pawn shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever pawned someone's gift before? No, I haven't. I feel like that's me going out of my way. Have you ever given your gift to someone else before? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, so, repurpose that whole recycling. Like, I mean, yeah, so what's yeah. Uh, what, what, what was it's like, it? It's called like the white elephant, I think it's what it's called. Like somebody gifts you something, you give it to somebody else. I've done that plenty of time. And I I have no shame. What what was it? It's different things. Oh, you done this a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different things. Damn, but do I be out here? I actually I actually don't. You don't be giving gifts to women? No. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about like I'm not out here being a white elephant, you understand? Know I'm be out here like know. getting the gifts and then like giving it to somebody else. But I'm definitely an Indian giver. Like I want my shit back. Even yeah. my friendships. Like yeah, so sometimes it's like I'll give you something and then I'll see what you're doing with it. I'm like, shit, I could have did this. I did like, job. give it back. <laughs> oh, hey, man, ass nigga, bro. She's like, no, nah, I want that shit back. Yeah. No, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. I'm not going with you. You going to be mad because you couldn't utilize it to the maximum yes. capacity? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You- because yeah. how dare you find a way to use it? <laughs> how dare I? How? <laughs> you because- just- <laughs> no, as soon as you use it, now I, I feel a need for it. Mm. Like, Damn. Wait, you're not the only child. I'm not, but I be moving like I am. That's, that's, I, I'm that's not. A, you spoiled? I don't think so. No. You were spoiled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you got to think about it, you were spoiled, most likely. Yeah, if you don't think you were spoiled, you were spoiled. Yeah. yeah. You had to question it? Yeah, you were spoiled. So, you, so it's more like, like, nah, this is mine. Like, always find what you look like. So, I already know, like, with your siblings, if, like, all right, you, like, oh, here, yeah, you have these shoes. Next thing you know, she's like, wait, she kind of killed that fit. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to need them shoes right back, dog. But, you know, the funny thing is, now that I have a daughter, she does the same thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you are me. Yes. Wait, you thought of Indian giving? Yes. Oh. She will like give you something without you even asking. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, as soon as you have a use for it, she wants it back. No, I think, okay, I think uh, that's just all kids. So we got to give them um, room for approving for that. Because I've seen kids give me some shit. And then like two minutes later, be like, give me it back. Like, I'm like, yo, fam, you just gave this shit to me. No, she does that with everything, with everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, she is me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, my daughter, she kind of does that. She, You have to piss her off or she'd be like, you know, give my shit back, dog. Oh, That's yeah. the only time she'd be on some fuck shit. Like, like, all right. But people be Indian giving, like, all right. Like, say, for instance, like, all right, I'm going to take this shit back if you're not doing what I want. She, like, she give out gifts on circumstance. Mm. You feel me? It's like, like say a transaction. For instance, yeah, like, all right, I'm going to give you this car, this toy, you know, this Barbie. 
for now. But as soon as you make me mad, or as soon as I don't get something like, hey, can I use your can I use your computer or something like that? No, I'm currently using it. Well, give me back my shit, nigga. Yeah. Yo, Indian giving ass, nigga. What's wrong with you, bro? Like, I thought you giving out the kindness of your heart, bro. What's going on? <laughs> I, I thought this was a genuine gesture. <laughs> what you out here trying to take nah, shit back? Nah, you not nah. getting what you want, bro. That's fucked up. Don't no, no, give me shit then. Why the fuck would you show me something I really can't have if I can't have it for real then? Well, why would you keep taking it? If you know she's gonna want it back, if, 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 if I know you want that fuck shit, okay, I feel you. I feel you. Have you ever? Well, what gifts have you given to a significant other, and you wish you gotten back? Oh, that I wish I gotten back. Yeah. Uh, nothing, because I actually honestly gave everyone something genuine. The only I've been, I've, I've have been an Indian giver. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. No, I sit here straight up and like, nah, bitch, you can give me this shit back. And that was a fucking phone. We had a phone line together, <laughs> and I was not playing, bro. I don't care what no one said. Was that at the end of the relationship? That was at the end of the relationship. I was like, listen here, you're not gonna be texting the next thing on my chat. And I'm paying for that motherfucker. You got me fucked you're up. You're like still upset. I don't even care about this. <laughs> it's more around the like, it's like the principle of shit, yeah. bro. Like if I'm like, imagine. Like imagine, like imagine, like if 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 this is this is why this is why I understand like for niggas who always who pays their women's bills, they pay for everything. Mm-hmm. Com- I commend you, my nigga, but I think like imagine you do everything quote unquote right, mm-hmm. and she still cheat on you. I'll be damned, nigga. I mean, I'll be fucking damn. <laughs> But <laughs> I understand, but these and I'm talking like you pay for everything. Like yo, like you, I literally made your life completely like. Women do the same free. thing. And like a stress free, and then you gonna sleep with the next nigga in my crib? Yeah, cause you ain't give me no God stress. Um, man. <laughs> you know who did that? Um, um, Kim Kardashian mom. She stayed in Chris. In, in, yeah, whatever her name is, the manager. Yeah, yeah. Chris Jenner. The manager. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said. Yeah, she said. Uh, whatever her husband named something Kardashian. Yeah, uh, Rob, 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 Rob. She had to pay pay bill in his life. life, and she and still cheated. Someone said, and she still, still cheated. cheated. See, love. He said, who she cheated fellas? with? Um, the the man who she with. Uh, the, the, the nigga who turned the, uh, Oh Bruce Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Turn his, his, his Turn into Caitlyn yeah. She was I, I honestly think She was fucking OJ On the side I'm just, She probably was mm. I mean a lot of people Think Chloe is OJ's daughter But that's beside the point So OJ got off In multiple ways then Is what y'all saying <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You stay taking stuff like way up here. <laughs> like we still down here. <laughs> Have you been an Indian giver? Uh, um Well, I, I have not I have not given been, been an Indian giver because I have never given of anything of like great value where I be like, okay, I'm gonna want this back if things go sour. You feel me? So that's just my way around it. I'm not giving you nothing great of great value. So in a sense, no. Mm. And that's kind of that's kind of way how I'm moving about it now, especially so. That's why I like I can't take back experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I think I have a personal dilemma. Like, how do you move about um, wanting the thing back, but not knowing how to ask or you send but send somebody to rob his ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's funny? I honestly, I, I was talking this. <laughs> in fact, I even said this. I'll talk. I'll joke with somebody, and we was having a conversation, and then she was, and then I was joking about like, all right. You know, you pay me two hundred dollars. I'll rob your baby daddy, and then I'll give you whatever the contents that I get from him <laughs> for a little service fee. You feel me? And what she said? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. No, no, no. We don't talk about that. What, what did she say? Wait, what she said? <laughs> she was like, she like, you go, honey, you can do it. But she like, like, listen, I'm not gonna pay that much. I'm like, because I'm like, all right, because you know he ain't got nothing. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Dang. She like No, we can talk on the side. <laughs> Cuz I have some hey, items I want back. Hey, you pay you pay another you pay another 200, you pay me. I'm a, I'm recording so you can get him crying on camera. <laughs> I have some items I want to get back. Like so for you, real, for you, you get to, you get to only play back once and then the files will be deleted, you know what I'm saying? Can't have no evidence. <laughs> So you get one good laugh Like I seen your pussy ass Crying when that nigga Was robbing you You know it'll be funny You send this nigga Luda rob someone He end up getting robbed By the nigga The nigga who robbed me I got your little friend That you send to come rob me You been real petty With it too No 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 Hey <laughs> You know what's funny A lot I know a lot of people Are you scared to get robbed Am I scared to get robbed Yeah no, because what are you, what you going to take from me, nigga? Uh, your wallet, your phone, 
$17. There you go. Have it. My phone, that shit outdated. What you going what, what are you, what are you going to gain from robbing me? Like, yeah, I think that's a fear of mine, but I feel like as women, it's. Y'all got like a thousand yeah, fears. Yeah, so many things because. Somebody's always out to get bandit. you. You out here robbing booties, and yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Wait, no. That's that's, there was a dude like that in, in uh, Washington. I think he was out here like uh, a serial rapist, the DC sniper. No, it was like it was like a serial rapist. I think it was in Washington, or Texas. I forgot. Oh. And he had, he had like in the hundreds. They said, <laughs> "Oh my gosh!" This was a couple years back. Yeah, I watch a lot of ID, so I. I'm what's, scared what's of that? people. Investigation, the discovery. Oh no. Yeah. Is that on TV? Yeah. I ain't got cable. <laughs> I don't have cable either. I don't pay for any of how them. You, but how you watch it then? Friends. Oh, okay. I don't Still pay it. for anything, but I got it all. <laughs> okay. It must okay. be lovely to be a woman. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In that aspect, yes. Yeah. Yes. But um, I, I have a question for y'all. Um, I know, so I'm going to talk about something. That I, I came across this week, and I was talking to my sister, and I was thinking about like my fears and shit like that. And I used to, and I had this one fear as a child that I think is still kind of prominent today. I think as an adult, it was a fear like back in the day, bro. When I was younger, people like you know, like you know, I have some some regular fears like you know heights, fear of drowning, no more shit. But this is like the ultimate fear for me as a child, bro. Back in the day, in middle school, bro. Imagine you chilling in class. And then a roach fall out your bag, bro. <laughs> you already know what's going to happen from here on out. Like, you are that roach nigga for the rest of your life, my nigga. You're a roach nigga. You ever wonder why I carry boot bags? That's no. no why. But wait, did you have roaches, though? Yeah, I have roaches. No, but I'm like, yeah, it's a flying one. <laughs> Yo, you know, and it's it's, but it's common. You know, is you're bound to have some type of infestation into a home. That's just it's it's it happens. Not infestation. It's gonna be well, okay. No, 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 yeah, I, a, <laughs> you bound you bound to, to, to get some type of yeah. you bound to get some critters inside your house. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then it's different. <laughs> whether whether it's for a little bit for a long time. So that's a huge issue. You feel me? But imagine the one time. Okay, we had like this one little roach in your house, and that one roach just so happened to find your bag. Yeah, Aww. and it so happened to follow you to school. Yeah. That roach said, "I want to learn to." That would bro said I'm trying to get my degree. Not yeah. I want to learn too. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to be prominent. I'm trying exactly. to be a good roach. You understand? I got a family to feed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you gonna do that, at least stay low key. These motherfuckers want to pop out in class. They exactly. Like, hey, it was good, nigga. No. Well, they want to meet your friends. No, nah, no, nah, we can't do that, man. You got to chill, relax. You got Bruh, I'm gonna you... introduce you when the time is right, <laughs> bro. I used to be shook. No. Right. You, you gotta tell your, you gotta tell the roach I wasn't high you from the world. I was high in the world. <laughs> I just be shook. Like when I used to, sometimes like when I used to, when I used to get ready to go to school, I'll open my bag out, make sure I shake that motherfucker out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put all my shit in there. Yeah. Like all right, bet. And I'll shake it outside so I can but, make sure. Like I said, that that wasn't even good enough for me no more because I tried that shit one time and that motherfucker must have hung on real tight. So <laughs> I, I hold it for dear life, like, nigga. Uh, after that, I'm like, nah, just either folders. I ain't coming to school with so nothing. So you had one fall out of your Hell bag? Yeah, but I, I stepped on that motherfucker and I kicked it next to this girl. I was like, oh, they was like, they was like, hey man, she got a rope or something. Yo, Listen, God forgive me, but like, I, she probably don't even forgive me for till this day though. But uh, yeah, I, I blame her because she was late. But it's the roach girl. Yeah. And that's the thing. Now, like my biggest fear, bro. Like, imagine, like, even as an adult, can you imagine that as an adult, a grown adult, like mm-hmm. you? I know y'all seen this. It was a video back in the day. Uh, no, it was back in the day. It was like it was recently. This nigga was on live. I guess he was cooking, and a roach oh, came yeah, across his yeah, cabinet. Yeah, yeah. And then the people were like, bro, you got a roach <laughs> on your shit. <laughs> you can't like, like that's even worse. Like yeah. as an adult, and that thing fell into the food. You should not go on live. But you know you got a dirty ass house. Y'all need to that stop part. that. But stop most doing people that. don't think it's dirty because they, they they live like that. Like you gotta think. You should know if you got a roach in your house. You've seen it before. Like if you <laughs> if you seen that roach in your house at least one time, don't ever go live. You feel me? Unless you yeah. put that little tent over your house. <laughs> that's, Listen, you wanna know why it's that not little tent embarrassing, by the way. I think it's like once you put that tent, niggas in the whole everybody in the neighborhood know you you got a dirty ass house from that point, bro. You you wanna know why it's not a problem? Cause that's their roommate. They pay bills there too, nigga. <laughs> they pay the other half of the rent. Well, so you're not gonna put me on camera, nigga. I live here too, nigga. What the uh-uh. fuck? You don't see all these crumbs I brought in here, nigga? Uh-uh. Nigga, I try to share, try to break bread with you, fam. Literally. <laughs> that's their house too. Uh-uh. I ain't tell you we can have guests over, nigga. <laughs> exactly, nigga. But they always come out when you got guests over. I know, right? 
That's when they love coming it, out. That's that's the, that's them throwing shade. Like, listen here, man. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at me because I try to bring my friends over and you be out here getting. I be, I be trying to bring the ants, the flies, and shit. But you want to get upset. But as soon as you want to bring a guest over here, it's, it, you think it's everything cool. No, nah, man, fuck that, nigga. Fuck so how do you niggas. play it off? Like, if you bring a girl over and the roaches want to come and greet her too, like. I'm gonna blame it on her. Oh, you bringing roaches to my house, bitch? Like, I'm blaming her. Listen, I ain't got no shame. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you had no shame, but you gonna shame her? That's literally like, right. <laughs> like, shit. Yo, the one was like, going down, but it's not. It's not me. Gonna be me. <laughs> You're horrible. Yo, oh my, oh gosh. my gosh, bro. Nah. That was a, yeah. So that was a huge fear of mine. And you gotta beat it to social media before before she posts about your roaches. Oh, you like, man? I can't believe I brought this bitch over to my house. <laughs> And she came out here with roaches, man. <laughs> well, she, at least she won't tag you. Well, let's hope she doesn't tag you. What? All right. Tag you and your little friends. Yeah. Let me <laughs> tag you and your little friends. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that nigga trying to blame a roach on you before? <laughs> no. She, no. Like, she like, I'll beat it. No. <laughs> what, no. what about y'all? What's, what's, what's some fears that y'all had as children? Um. Giddy? Go, Giddy. What's your fear, actually? Um, as a child, definitely snakes. I was mm. so terrified of snakes. That was a big phobia of mine. But now me older, like, I actually don't mind snakes. Like, I can go to a reptile store and, like, play with them and whatnot. Like, I hope that you an adult. I know. I, I actually wanted a pet snake, but then my mom said she would never come over. So. I shot on <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, she yeah, like, yeah. yeah. She like, bring the devil in my house. Yeah, What's wrong like, with you, bro? What is wrong with you? But um, now, large bodies of water. Like, I don't like water. I like showers. <laughs> I love taking showers, but like the ocean, like going on cruises, that's just not me. Jet skiing. I, if my feet can't touch the bottom of anything, I'm not. No. You tripping. You let me tell you how much fun it is to jet ski, nigga. I know. I've done it before. I've done it one time. And Listen then all here, the other nigga. times it's like, oh, I'll stay on the yacht. You guys can have fun. Nigga, I be like, feel like I'll be Jay-Z on a jet ski. Uh-uh. <laughs> Cause my I'll fear is I'm gonna fall off. That shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Even with the life vest, like I will panic in the water. Uh, actually, I can see why. Cause the thing is I fell off a jet ski into the water and I had a life vest. And the jet ski, like, isn't that how Usher's son died? Usher had a son who died? Yeah. His son um, um, fell off the jet ski and um, hit his head or something like that. What but Usher? What Usher Raymond. Usher. Really? Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. You know he had a son? Not one that died. Yeah, his son died. That was like a couple years ago, like 2012, I believe. Usher? Shit. Yeah. Oh, that's why I hear about it. Yeah. Then he went around, you know, telling T-Pain. <laughs> Giving him depression and shit. Aww. Because he was mad at his, he was mad at life. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Usher, uh, son died. Really? <laughs> Damn. Damn, so I could have died, bitch, because the thing is the jet ski, like... No, there's a lot of people who's died No, because the, the jet ski, like, flipped over. It goes I was, like, over you. I was underneath the jet ski, my yeah. nigga. Oh, no. And then, I, like, I looked down, and then you could see, like, the abyss, yeah, my nigga. It was, I was, in it was pitch black. The accident oh. took place in 2012 when Hubbard crashed into Kyle Glover, the son of Usher's former wife, Tamika Foster, and a 15-year-old girl who were both playing in the inner two... On Lake, Lake Oh, yo, this lake, yo, this lake be snatching lives, bro. What lake? Damn. Lake, lake Lanier. Have you ever heard that lake in yeah. Georgia? That lake is infamous for taking bodies, bro. Oh, I didn't know he had a son that died. Yeah. All right, they might have to shut that lake down. Oh, how old was the son? Uh, fifteen, I think. No, no. the girl's fifteen. The girl's fifteen. I don't know. He was old enough to be driving a jet ski. Oh, um, so he's a teenager. They gotta be close around the same age, most likely. Yeah. He said, uh, died two weeks later from brain injuries. Oh, Shit. wow. Fuck. I didn't know that. And I'm such a big Usher fan. Oh, someone was sitting for four years for it. Who? How? Who killed? I, did I read this wrong or something? Playing the inner tube on Lake <sighs> Don't let lose. I know, right? They <laughs> rub off on you. <laughs> now now oh, you become okay, illiterate, yeah. too. Yeah, he said the accent. Yeah, yeah when, he, when Hubbard crashed into Kyle Glover. So Hubbard is the person who crashed into Usher's son and killed them, basically. Oh, so it wasn't even his fault. It was the it was the next nigga. Yeah. Oh, he got four years. Yeah, since the four years, so it's manslaughter because he didn't intentionally do it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, you was doing, nigga. <laughs> oh. Cause no, cause thing is, he was on a jet ski then, and then they was on it. Cause you said they was on a tube. Yeah, as a family friend, is it? He was a friend. Uh, Oh, shit. Oh, that oh, that makes it oh, yeah. even worse, That's bro. so sad. 
Oh, R.I.P. Does he, like, like, can you even, like, blame him, bro? You like, can't. It was I, an accident. <laughs> like, but, like, how do you go about that after being friends with someone who Yeah, I know. I mean, it's like, like imagine, yeah. like, your friend, friend. Yeah. Like, like, yo, like. Therapy. Yeah. You just can't, uh, you just can't. Take my kids anywhere after that. Like, hey, yeah. you need me to pick up your. No, nah, I'm good. Wait, I'm wait, pick up my- yeah. Wait. 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 <laughs> the good thing is, you you gonna have a lot of anger and animosity oh, sure. towards them. So it's like you, I don't, you can't redeem your friendship, bro. Yeah, but then it's like it wasn't intentional. I know yeah. it wasn't intentional, but thing is, like, it it just wouldn't feel right because thing is, at the end of the day, like, if it, if anybody does anything to my child, I feel like we getting the Glocks we riding out. So yeah, so. And that's on any circumstance. Dang, so bad. if you if the only way you can get spared in a sense is like, yo, we just gonna have to end this friendship, dog. Uh, it's it's just it's just I'm sorry. Uh, it's either that or we out here get the Glocks and we ride on your bitch ass. So <laughs> so either way, they're dead to you. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I'll feel like I, I can't look at you the same. You you've taken my child's life. That's yeah. that's a huge issue for me. I don't care how good of friends we are. I understand, like, I can have love for you deep, deeply and everything, but it's more along the lines of, like, you took something that's very precious to me, bro. I am I, I don't play about that. I think it's different when it's, like, an accident, though. I, I like, still don't care about it, no accident, bro. I mean, over time, that, you'll I, learn nah, to... Bro, accidents, bro, because no. a lot of times people, it's, people just be neglectful, bro. Like, what if you're in, a, like, God forbid, a car accident mm. where somebody else comes and strikes your car? Yeah. That's beyond your control. They hit me? Well, your friend was driving your child, and then somebody hit your friend. And I'm then- not going to be mad at my friend. I'll be mad at a nigga who hit us. Who hit them? But he but died in the it- possession of your kid. Like, so it's no, like- but that's, mm-hmm. that's, 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 not, that's not the same thing. You but if, have- if the friend is riding a jet ski and kind of like hit the, other, the little boy. He did the act of killing my child. You remember, do you remember Tyler Perry? Why did I get married? One of the couples, uh, Janet Jackson and the other guy, the whole reason they they have a tension between their marriage because her their son died in a car accident, and the, the even though it wasn't her fault, the husband was mad at her because she uh, she didn't strap him in that day mm-hmm. of the accident. So it's kind of like even though she didn't cause the accident, he she, she, she was neglectful. Yeah, you see, I will still be mad. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'll be mad because thing is you chose you you chose to be neglectful. That is the, the, the issue with me. I'm, but you're, you're still going to find some way to be mad at your friend. Of course. Like, yeah, you should be more careful. Yeah. I like, think I was doing this. You no, shouldn't have been driving. Like, no, yeah. no, it's always, no, always going to be something. You should find yeah. some way to blame him for it. I'm telling you, bro. Now you still use a blanket, yeah. nigga. I wasn't turning, yeah. nigga. Like, what if, he, he was probably late to picking up your son. Like, I, if you would have been on time to picking up my son, this wouldn't have happened. Like, you're going to yeah. find some way to blame him. Yeah. You, yeah. You, well, you're right. Because yeah. every second counts. <laughs> I learned that shit a long time ago. Every second fucking counts. Your life, your your life can change in a year in a matter of milliseconds. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So you don't take life for granted. Yeah. Who? Yeah. On a on a more positive <laughs> no, you know. So back to your fears, because the the fear of losing the child and stuff like that. What about you? Like, what are some fears of? The, I, got, I got no fear of you losing children. What you no, 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 no. That, that's actually that's actually a fear of mine. Actually, now nah, nah, you said, yeah, yeah. If I lost my child, bro. Yeah, you know who I got mine fear? too. Who? Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I always keep a spare. <laughs> you know who ain't got that fear either? Casey Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, yo, <laughs> yo, she don't. She clearly don't. I haven't heard that name in such a long time, bro. Listen like, here, bro. I'll, I'll never y'all let ain't got no filter. I'll, I'll, I'll oh never, my I'll god. That bitch slide on that shit. Yeah, you not, this is a wild, wild west. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so he <laughs> said Nick Cannon. <laughs> well, he's trying to multiply. He's trying to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, gang is calm. You feel know I me? Mean? God said multiply, not fucking do things to the exponent. exponent. <laughs> that nigga's doing everything exponentially. Like, whatever, ex- exponentially. Like, that shit is like swoop. That thing is going high. Like, you sure you good in math? <laughs> <laughs> it, wait. I've seen a lot of things like progress. Like the quickest thing that expanded in years is technology. That most of you could say. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say no. It's actually Nick Cannon out here spreading his seed across the world, my nigga. Because I ain't never seen nobody spread this fast like this, man. I mean, he did a lot in one year, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, dog. This man. No, I'm wait, he got, wait, he got heart. seven. He got seven I now? I yeah. I think he has seven kids. Now. And yeah. you know what makes it worse? He got like two future. sets of twins. And twins. that's what I'm about to say. Yeah. He be out here dropping twins yeah. too. So that makes it even worse. Twins running his family. Then. I know. Must he, be. He, he running it through people too. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> 
Yeah. What about you? Uh, but he claims all of them. Yeah, you, he, and he I shows also, he shows up to all the maternity yeah. photo shoots. Like that, never miss a beat. I mean, if you're taking care of your kids, is it really a problem? Like, yes, because you're breaking a lot of homes. You know, like that's a, how? What do you mean how? How are you breaking a lot of homes? I'm there for my kid. Like I don't have to. We don't. Me and my wife don't have to be. So cut. Think about it like this. So are you saying just because my kid didn't grow up in a two parent household doesn't mean they're not they're not going to get the best of both worlds of when it comes to um, parental care, parental, parental care, like, parental like me, and, me and the mom don't have to be in love no more. But that doesn't mean we stop loving you. You feel I me? Mean? Yeah, but it's just it's it's better for the child when they grow up seeing both parents, and if it's a healthy environment, yeah, of course. Say, look, think about every Haitian marriage. You think no? You think no? No, parents I, be still no. I'm in love? talking about like mm-hmm. a healthy environment, like because we're in a space now where we're trying to break generational curses mm-hmm. and whatnot. And I feel like having a two parent household is a lot better than just one child, one parent. Because me as a single mom, like that wasn't what I wanted to do. Whatever. I can see how my child is affected by me not being with her father. Okay. Like, all right. So what about all right? So what about sister wives then? Because I've heard people complain about that. Of, of well, of, that's just a different. No, no, no. Now, now you got more than that, one parent. That's just a now different. You got three. <laughs> no, that's just a way of confusing children. Granted, I don't like everybody can choose whatever they want to choose. That's just not a lifestyle mm-hmm. for me. But that just confuses the children. For me, it's not something that I agree with. But if they find if they can make it work, if they like it, I love it. But yeah, they say when a when a black woman says that, <laughs> that's not that. <laughs> y'all lie. Y'all lie y'all I'm just saying though, if if it works for she, them, she, who am I to judge? My dog said to each but his own. It and confuses it's not my own. the heck out of children. Mm. Hey. hey man, he I said, as long as you're taking care of your kids, you feel me? You, Bruh, no, think no. Boosie got a whole bunch of different baby moms and shit like that. But okay, what, but that mommy, doesn't wait, make it right. Oh, yeah. I, think that, I think this whole, um, to be honest with you, I think that where we live in, that, in the society where having a little bit of kids has just become the norm of what you think like uh, a, a normal family should look like. So, but back in the days, it's, it was completely normal to hear. Your grandpa, whatever, having 22 kids, 16 kids, like 12, yeah. And yeah, look, yeah, those kids turned out just fine, didn't they? No. Yeah. No. They made They're passing that thing. generational trauma. Uh huh. Of what, having a whole bunch of kids? No, it's just you're lacking. Like, you want to see both parents. You want to wake up and know, like, hey, daddy's going to be here. He's going to pick me up. Mommy's going to be here cooking the food. Like, that's healthy. That's that's what we're supposed to be doing. Not having a kid and then see, that, leaving it for the mom to do 90% of the work. And then you show up for mm-hmm. birthdays, weekends, whatever. That's not enough. You don't, don't have know. to be that. See, see, you automatically thinking of the negative of what. How I'm not. You, yeah. I'm just but, thinking from a social work yeah, standpoint, mm-hmm. like the children are are affected by having a broken home. I, I, it's, it's, I it's think not, it's more nature versus nurture because even if you have a well molded home, how many how many kids, white kids, you see out there going up shooting up schools, but come from two parent households? So I think it just comes. But down is to, it a healthy? It could, it's healthy. But, the yeah. parents are there, right? The no, no, no. There's a difference between having two parents mm-hmm. there who in a healthy environment and just like if it's not healthy, I would rather be by myself. Mm-hmm. But if it's healthy, it's just. It's better for the kids. Like well, even eat, eating dinner yeah. together, that does something for the kids. Mm. Like there's so many different things where I, I don't want to make it like into, but those things. No, we, no, still. There's there's a lot of positives yeah, that but, comes from it, and we're in a generation now where we're really trying to break the cycles of like single moms or like single dads or whatnot. It's easier. Like when I was with my child's father, it was. Everything was easier Mm -hmm. because it's like I can get off of work. I know he can pick up um, our daughter like I can start cooking. It's just it's a balance for who, though, for both of us, for y'all. But is it is it how is it affecting? It's not like I'm saying what I'm trying to say. It's not the end all equation to make sure that kid is going to come up raised properly like just because y'all have an easier process doesn't mean that kid is going to turn out fine at the end of the day yeah you can raise the child properly being in two homes Mm -hmm. but it's just better for everyone if it's a healthy relationship a healthy home having that child see an example of what it's like for a girl um for a daughter like to see what it's like for a guy to love 
on the mom, you know, to know what to expect, to know how she wants to be treated. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen what re- real love is. And for a boy to have that example of like, this is what it's like to be a man. This is the things that are expected of me. These are the duties that I have to fulfill for my wife mm-hmm. by watching it from the examples of his or her parents. Yeah, you could see me do that with my other wife, though. And like, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, if I don't love your mom no more. Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah. If it's healthy, if yeah. it's not healthy, regardless if you guys are together or not, like mm-hmm. it's not a good environment for the kid. Mm-hmm. Like you, You're better off apart. But if it's a healthy home, yeah. that just does a lot. It benefits the child a lot more. Yeah, but I'm saying for Nick Cannon... What if what about whatever kids he whatever wife he ends up being with, just because he's not with the other wives that other girls that he had a, like when he bring his kids when he had this, takes that day and he spend time with his kids however All many that he them. bring with, mm-hmm. what if he is living in a loving happily relationship whatever the girl he decided to be with and his kids. All seven of them can see examples of that, whatever, which whatever girl he decided to be with. It may not be their mom, but he is seeing his father yeah. being a good man to whatever wife he decided to, uh, to end up with at the end of the day. I mean, I think Nick Cannon's mindset mm-hmm. on all this multiplying and being fruitful, I think it's all effed up anyways. Because yeah. it's coming from a place of him trying to fill a void mm-hmm. and him talking about he might die any second. So he's going to have as many kids as he possibly can before he leaves. That's yeah. like, that's a fear. That's something that he's doing to to fill whatever void, whatever fear, whatever it is that he mm-hmm. he's running away from instead of battling whatever that feeling is yeah. instead of trying to suppress it and deal with it by being fruitful, mm-hmm. like go to therapy, get the counseling, get it out of your system, find out the root of it, mm-hmm. which is probably like you being fearful of dying at a young age yeah. or whatever. He, he, but he, in that environment where you're saying like, Oh, he, the seven kids are seeing daddy be a great um, father. father or whatever to the husband the, and everything. Right. In the household. That also causes sibling rivalry because mm. it's like, how are you so perfect with this, with my um, brother or sister's mom, but yet you and my mom couldn't make it work? Like, what did I do wrong? Am I the reason why they broke yeah. up? And like, it causes the child to feel a lot of guilt because you got to understand children at a very young age, they internalize everything. Yeah. So it's like, they're going to blame themselves for the break. Up. They're going to br- blame themselves for essentially everything. And they're going to try to be that perfect child to try to get you guys back together. And then when it doesn't work, it's mm-hmm. like, man, F my dad because he's not there. He's this, he's that. You could be the best father that you're trying to be. But with broken homes, you're still creating this cycle. You're mm-hmm. still leaving this child feeling some type of void and feeling like unwanted. But Essentially, at, but at that point, shouldn't that child go to therapy too? That's like, what I was yeah, thinking too. Yeah. Like, me and, just the way me and the mom had to yeah. go to therapy to try and learn each other, uh, love yeah. each other. Like at the day, like we all got to do what's best for ourselves. Like, cause right. just because you want me to be with your mom, I live my own individual life. Yeah. I'm not gonna stay with someone who I don't love and be unhappy in that situation. Right, 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 right. Like, you gotta grow yeah. up and deal with that and move past that on yourself. Like that's growth there. You feel me? Like. That's that. That's kind of where we're like, yeah. nah. I'm fucked up because you ain't stay with my mom. What nigga right. grow past it? Like, but most girl. of us as black mm-hmm. um, men and women and children, like we don't get those type of explanations. Yeah. Where I have my three year old asking for her dad all the time, asking to go to Dada's house and da da da. We live in different cities, so it's like I have to break it down to her in a way where she will understand. But I'm still telling her the truth. It's like, yeah. okay, you can't go see Dada today because. Yeah. He's not here and, mm. you know, but you will go see him next week or whatever. Yeah. I'm not lying to her. I We mm. have open dialogue mm. conversations where I'm breaking it down mm. a way that a three-year-old will understand. Yeah, But you know? see, see, you're doing it the proper way because at least you're doing it with maturity because a lot of times the women are, aren't breaking it down to the kid like that. They're saying your dad don't want to see you. He don't want to yeah. do nothing with mm-hmm. you like, just because... Their own, their own yeah. attention that they have with the father. Right. So it's like, at least you're doing it in a mature way. You're letting her know, no, this has nothing to do with yeah. your dad not liking you. We just are not together. But right. whenever he has time, he makes time to see you. You feel yeah. me? I have, a, I have a question for you. Uh, you, because yeah, you said y'all don't live inside the same city. Did you, you, y'all used to live inside the same city. You moved to another city for obviously for your own reasons, correct? Well, yeah. he moved to another city for oh. work. Okay, okay. So it's it's more along the lines like okay, as well he has to progress his life and obviously yeah. provide for his child that he has, whether or not he's with you or not. So that's another thing he has to like if for for him to do because he's, even for me, if I have I have a daughter as well. So if I have to like okay, 
if I have to make a decision, like, because I used to work in when I was in Marine Corps, so I like I took the hit. I was like, listen here, I'm gonna be gone for a while. That's when he had asked me, like, oh, did you not like suck the snot out her fucking nose? I was mm-hmm. like, no, because things I had to fucking make a mm-hmm. fucking check, nigga. Yeah. I know I had to sacrifice certain things in my life for I can provide for my child. Mm-hmm. So it's not even like it's not even something like you have to you have to understand. Like, listen here, I understand you may not like it. I may yeah. not be present. However, I have to do what I have to do for you. And that's something I had to explain to my daughter as well. Cause I remember one time my daughter was talking shit. She had said something. And then, and I was like, well, damn nigga, like you just going to be upset because the nigga wasn't here fam. Like, yeah. and guess what? I'm like, bro, like you don't remember that shit. And guess what? I'm like, you don't remember that shit. Like, guess what? We got guaranteed. We had our moments. I definitely brought you whenever, whatever. I, I seen her when I was in Japan and yeah. feel me. So I was expensive ass plane ticket. Uh, Two grand, nigga. It, yeah. Fuck that, nigga. I ain't doing that yeah. shit again. Yeah, but I'm like, obviously, come see you and stuff like that. So things you gotta understand, like, th- I'm gonna make you do what I gotta do, and yeah. that's just a matter of fact. And it, and it, for Nick Cannon's case, obviously, I don't know what he on, but I doubt it's in the sense of like, I love these women and stuff like that, and I'm trying to build a whole relationship with them, and then we're gonna have a, we're gonna build a family. I don't think it's in the sense of like how you guys would typically see it as. It's more along, I guarantee it's probably more along the lines of, I see that you are a fit candidate to carry my seed and progress, I guess, my lineage. Yeah. And I guess that's that's what it is. So the thing is, even the expectation of what the family is is gonna be different than what you see that because the thing is, you keep saying like a, a healthy house, a healthy household, two parent household, but that's not the dynamic that they're going for to be, even begin with. Yeah, but that starts from you trying to fill up a void. You're running away from something. I don't know. What I don't are. know. This is me looking at it from a social mm-hmm. work standpoint. Yeah. It's it's a void that you're trying to fill. Whether yeah. for him, it's the fear of dying young. So I'm gonna have as many kids as I possibly can to carry that lineage, like you were saying. Does he yeah. have a lot of siblings? I know he has a brother. Uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know I think like right years now. back, he was, his mom was supposed to abort him or something. I think he had a song uh, about that. I don't really know much about it. This was like Nick Cannon's song. <laughs> this was like years back. <laughs> this was years back. No, back in like 02, 03, I think he had a couple of bangers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His his mom had a... Pro- but no, that is inter- it, it is an interesting perspective to see it from your point of view, especially from like uh the like a social work point of view. Mm-hmm. But, and as a parent too, yeah. so... Yeah, so... Yeah, because me, I'll just be like, hey man, you gonna have to work through that, dog. Like, yeah. But... Cause, cause, he, like for instance, like Boosie. He, at the end of the day, your parents gotta live their own life too. Like, you feel me? How yeah. many, how many stories have you heard parents throw away their dreams, the love of their life because they had to raise you? You feel me? Like, and I'm like, okay, just because. The but kid, you shouldn't look at it that way. Hell yeah, you gotta look at it that way. Your parents are, are, are your parents Cause, people. Cause, but the thing mm-hmm. is, you had a choice in You're every. Like, you had me. No, you you <laughs> had a choice. You had a mm-hmm. choice. Like, if yeah, to be responsible. And that mm-hmm. res- responsible could mean a lot of different things because I think people think about it like, oh, you're pregnant because you carry the child and you decided to have the child. That's you being responsible. No. Yeah, that's because I didn't want society to judge me for like. But society. <laughs> and they had to judge you because you were single parent. But I think most parent. of the time, psychologically, having an abortion might affect you more than you actually having that child. Following through, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because in that situation, any of the decision is going mm. to impact you and change your the life. rest of your life. Yeah. Regardless if people see the outcome of your mistake or whatever sin or whatever, or if you're left to deal with it on your own, either way, you're gonna feel some type of way about that decision. It's not an easy decision to make. Yeah. Mm. Anyways. Going on a lighter subject, you guys. Um, <laughs> back to your fear, because yeah, you ain't never answered yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we, I ain't got no fears. I ain't afraid of nothing. Uh, no, as a child. I ain't afraid of As a child, I wasn't scared of nothing as a child either. Ooh, my dog said he was yeah, gangster. Wow. Me? I wasn't scared of nothing. Must be okay. nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you. My, my dog was strong. Mm-hmm. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Wow. <laughs> okay, Bernie Mac. Okay. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> on a legend. <laughs> um, I... Beside like seals and stuff like that, I, I as I got older, things have changed. So clearly, I'm not scared of certain fears I had when I was younger. Um, another thing, but things obviously change as you get older. So, for instance, like for me, I know it's like I lost some skill sets, uh, like abilities that I used to have when I was younger and shit like that. Giddy doesn't believe me, but I used to be able to dance quite well. You feel me? I have I had went out to a party and then we was dancing compa. And I'm sitting here dancing. I'm sitting here like, yo, like this is a 
terrible. Like, I'm out here doing terrible, bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, I stepped on this girl's foot. That's how terrible it got. I was like, shit, uh, I need to get back in the gym and go ahead and do it and fucking work on these fucking skill set. I mean, it, was, it was a whole bunch of, it was circumstance, I think, a little bit. Because nigga, I had on Tim's, nigga. You not dancing Copa and Tim's, my nigga. Uh, you not, uh-huh. <laughs> not this size 11 foot, bro. You not doing, you not, <laughs> you not sidestepping in that shit, bro. So I, I, I'm like, it's more circumstance, but we not going to talk about that. But like for me, like as a skill set, as I got older that I lost was my ability to dance. Mm-hmm. Um, what about you guys? Y'all it lost any skills or things that you could do when you was younger that you can't do no more as you got older? Besides your knees and stuff not working, because I think everyone has like a, a limited warranty on that. You feel me? You have like 36,000 miles. Wow. So Yeah, I think I lost some skills. Uh, you, you lost anything, Giddy? Um, my ability to play tennis. Oh, I used wait, to be you, Yeah, I used to be like Venus out in East Street. No. Nah, yeah. You really could play tennis or you just like I really- used to play in middle school and then like um I made actually the varsity team while I was still in eighth grade. Oh shit! Wait, 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 wait what? Your your school had a, a tennis team. What she lived in Naples. Oh, yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You had a lacrosse team too, right? <laughs> yeah. See, they had lacrosse. And I think we had like rugby. Because you yeah. was a private school or something. Mm-hmm. She no. lived in Naples. This is a public school that had all this stuff. Do, do you not see? Have you not seen Naples? Yeah. Naples is open grass, bro. Yeah. Okay. Different. Okay. Yeah, I really love tennis, and now like we have like a whole tennis group that um a lot of black people are actually like joining. It's actually beautiful, but I I gave up. I'm like because I'm so competitive because I know how good I was, and so then now what? it's like people who just started trying to backhand and forehand. I'm just like, first of all, you're not even doing the follow through. <laughs> she like you're trash. Yeah. You get yeah. <laughs> but I get so mad. Because like if I if I can't hit it, I'm like, dang, I used to be good. And I'm like trying to fight it, but yeah, I used to play tennis. I still love it. Still got rackets in my car. <laughs> Yo, that I, I I need to see a yearbook picture. Why? I think I can get a better understanding of your upbringing once I see that yearbook picture. Why? No, no, I, I just need to see. I can't tell no. you why. I can't tell you why. But I, I think it it encapsulates like everything I thought in the Wait, sense. wait, first of all, yeah. what what do you think? <laughs> no, no, I can't tell you. I had to see the yearbook no, picture what does he think? before I come to my I conclusion. Have <laughs> Before I can give you a yearbook picture. Oh, so you do have yearbook pictures? No, then. not with me in I, Naples. Yes. I can find it online? No, I don't think so. I think you can find it online. What's I think. It? What's the name of the high school? You I'm not to? telling you. <laughs> Wait, tell me what you think, though. Wait, you and Nancy went to the same school? Um, no. You lied. No, we didn't. What school Nancy went to? For the audience who don't um, understand who the fuck I Nancy is, I think she went is. to East Naples. Oh, uh, she's. She's 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 a relative of mine. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Yo, but okay. we didn't go to the same school. Okay. Hey, was your Wait. was your school uh, majority white? Yes. It was a good mix. So it was like, majority white. And we go up and pull up the statistics. I know. <laughs> I, 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 think, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Like, why are you guys judging me right now? I'm feeling no, we, judged. No, I'm feeling judged. We're trying to get to. Wait, Jody, to get to, what are we, you trying to get? <laughs> we're trying to get to the life of, of Giddy. You understand? Know like, oh I, my I already gosh. know. I already know this is his school. Um, <laughs> I mean, y'all got roaches, so. <laughs> yeah. <we did>. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that pretty much summarizes it. But. Wait, but I, I really want to know. What? Like, what yeah, are you she thinking? Huh? What, what are you done? thinking? No, I'm just, I'm trying to understand, like, your upbringing, because obviously you have a different personality from the girls who grew up in Broward County. You feel me? Really? Yeah. How? It's obvious. It's obvious. Even uh, even from your demeanor, even from your demeanor, the way you uh, interact with people and stuff like that, it's totally different. It doesn't, it doesn't have... I don't want to say black girls have an attitude, but you do approach with a bubbly personality. You understand? I've only seen that with white girls. You feel I me? Mean? They they have that personality where they just come off as bubbly, even if it's fake. It, they just that's the first foot they put forward. You don't get that usually with girls who come in Broward County. The first foot they put forward is what do you want, nigga? You feel I me? Mean? It's attitude first. You feel I me? Mean? Yeah. So I'm trying to up, understand your upbringing 
Where like What school did you come from Like I think that all comes Into how He's trying to dissect you nigga yeah. We building a profile On you nigga I, Well I, I feel like He already has like An image of mm-hmm. like of, of your school that Yeah you to? Just everything no, Just image. everything it's Just no, white It's just white everywhere <laughs> No I don't, I don't think it's white everywhere I, I hope I, I hope not See If you were white everywhere I would call you a new black You feel me those, those are the worst kind of black, but you're not there. You feel me? Oh. I feel like you still had exposure to black culture. You feel me? This is not your first rodeo being around black people. So now it's a new black. It's not an Oreo anymore. No, no, no. We call those new blacks. You feel me? New black. Or, or, or Oreo is, is different from a new black because an Oreo is someone who is black, obviously on the outside, but they have like a um, they grow up with white personality, likes and and um and interests and stuff like that. A new black is someone who has just discovered their blackness. You understand? They grew up around white people or their whole friend group has been white people. And then suddenly when they get to college and stuff like that, they start discovering black culture. They get more black friends, more black girlfriends. It started like they wear they weave different. That's what a new black is. You feel me? And you can often tell that by the vernacular that they use. They use all the Internet language. You feel wow. Me? Yeah. I wouldn't consider myself a new black. No, no, you're not a new black now. OK, OK. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. I said, if you were new black, this would be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, continue. Think, think yeah. skills, skills that you lost <laughs> as you got older. Um, as, from Obviously, from adolescence to like older years. Besides like your body. Man, I used to know how to sing. I told y'all boys, man, I used to know how to sing. I used to, I used to have a mm-hmm. more higher So y'all tone. was like in a whole band together. One's dancing, well, one's singing. Well, never, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm David Ruffin, motherfucker. Hey. Wow. wow. No, but I, I used I used to have a, a better singing voice. But um Ooh. I'm glad I'm glad that I lost it now because now that I think about it, I wouldn't have had a, a dope ass uh a dope ass R and B career. Can we hear a little something? You hear me every day we we play this theme song. Let me hear it again. What the theme song? No, you we didn't right hear now. It again. No. Acapella. No, <laughs> <laughs> First of all, my services don't come free anymore, right? Oh wow. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think I think um, I ain't got no I ain't got no pictures of myself when I was a youngin. Like my parents didn't take no pictures. Oh. They ain't got no videos. So it's kind of like they ain't believe in me. You, oh my you, god! You, you got burned down. Remember? No, 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 no. hell no! Nah. Don't blame <laughs> that on that. Don't blame that on that nigga. Oh <laughs> nah. no. Them niggas ain't take no pictures or nothing to me. So it's like they had they had no faith that I was gonna be something. All right? They couldn't find you. You ever notice how <laughs> every how every fucking childhood star they got. Thousand pictures. pictures and videos that is of true. them as a kid. They had a promise. They had a promise in life. Like, it was something yeah, that exactly. just like they That's had that thing. it. It was like, like you're gonna be a star dad. one day. <laughs> my mom and dad got, got no no pictures. What? A, Aww. I can't even have a dope ass rap album because you know how every rapper they put their childhood yeah. picture as they cover. So you don't have any at all. I ain't got nothing. Use your yearbook picture. What I'm gonna do with that lame ass shit? <laughs> Fuck no Don't worry fam I got, I, got, I got pictures from back in the day fam I can't even use the excuse that Yo my teacher ain't never believed me All of my fucking teachers believed in me fam what a, That's gonna be a lame ass rap career fam how you, gonna, how you gonna go on a track and be like yeah no, Shout out to Mrs. What's the name And everybody at my school They all believe that I'll be something, something You know what that means That means you destined for greatness nigga. No niggas don't Niggas don't want to root for someone Who already de- destined for greatness <laughs> nigga. We like the underdog Nigga like, what the fuck Aww. Or you got to charge your laptop, fam. I know that, nigga. What you think I've been trying to do this past hour? Yeah, he has been trying yo. to do it for like the past 30 minutes. <laughs> yo, this nigga been trying to plug this shit in. I'm sitting here like, bro, that shit is down to three. Yeah, damn. You thought I was just mingling around? Yeah. yeah. Oh. This nigga out here talking. Nigga, fuck you yeah, and your yeah. skill set that you lost. My shit it. is broken, nigga. Like, but go ahead, man. <laughs> you got to try the, the, the left side. I tried all my sides already. You feel me? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, but shit. how do you guys feel like with the day of like everything being posted on social media and everybody's mm. so active? Like, do you guys have an issue with your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, following their exes on social media? Um, yeah, I think I would have a problem with that. Why? Um, cause why are you following him? The only person should be following is Jesus. What the fuck? Why are you, you following? Have, you have he been. really thought he, he said no, something. No, 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 you should be following Jesus. You have what? Don't follow what? nobody but Her Jesus. follow to follow ratio is terrible. No. It's going to be one. It's Jesus' Instagram That's account. All. That's all. <laughs> who, who, who else does she... We know what, what if is? Jesus is an ex? What if he has a name? Jesus is all of our exes, first of all. 
He used to, he was all he was all my ex. He oh died for our sins. Oh gosh. You should, we all call Jesus Father. Do you think that's just your insecurity? That I don't like Jesus? No. <laughs> 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 you got, that is, no, you no, no. That you with? won't let your ex, your girlfriend follow her ex. No, I don't think it's part of my insecurities. I don't think so. Uh I feel like uh, to me, I really don't care. Cause at the end of the day, I'm like. He okay. care. He lying. I, I don't. I really don't he care. He gonna what? go. He gonna go ahead and log in personally and follow her. Wow. And blog her. <laughs> you gonna I do don't. it? You gonna do it? I don't. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. Cause at the end of the day, it's like okay, fuck that. Got to do. I, don't, yeah. I I I think at the end of the day, um, um, it's a respect thing. No, we shouldn't have social media. At the end of the day. <laughs> what well, you, what are you talking you about? You on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you on your own. No, nah, no. Nah. Well, because I can understand it if it, it could be a problem, obviously, you know, saying your significant other out here, like they liking all the pictures. They were like, oh, my gosh, you look so cute. I need their pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. So you like they, they out here waiting for the next when the next post about to come out. Yeah. They're interacting with all they fucking uh, stories that they put on IG and shit like that. I can see I can see that being an issue. That would be an issue. I'd be like, what the fuck are you? Why, why are you yeah. like interacting yeah. with people? And no, shit? like, why are you like it's. It, you're trying to be You're trying to uh, It's almost like You know when people Like when people interact On your social media Often bro You're trying to get my attention You're trying to like Be in front of my face mm-hmm. So I can see So for me I'm like Who you out here Why are you being extra friendly Friendly And mm-hmm. you're in front of A next nigga face And shit like that Like what's what's up with you fam Like who you trying to impress That's how I'm gonna see it as um, Especially like being more so like Cause it's yeah Especially the IG once you start rep- rep- uh, talking to somebody on these stories and shit like that, like you're really trying to like, yeah. all right, I'm trying to talk to you because obviously this is the topic of discussion that you're trying to show right now yeah. on your stories. You tr- obviously you want this is your little f- hook. This is your bait. You're trying to have a conversation yeah. with somebody. Bet I'm gonna give it to you. So that's why uh-huh. it'll be, it'll, it'll, that will be a problem for me. Uh, uh-huh. I think for me it's not a big deal. Just remember that you're in a relationship and respect the boundaries of that relationship and respect me. The whole thing of Putting her eyes like, damn, you look quite nice in that shirt, bitch. You ain't complimenting me in my shirt. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> and you know what makes it even worse? What? It, it, like, say for instance, if y'all do have similarities too, so you know how some people are like, oh, they have a certain type. They have a type. They be like, yo, so like, wait, so you, first of all, you you dated a nigga who looked just like me. That's a problem. Two, you out here giving him compliments, and I ain't getting none. How wow. we look the same? I got that same exact shirt. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Do you have a type? Me? He say I do. I do. He do. What's your type? Huh? Women. <laughs> <laughs> so you just not gonna ever answer that question. Okay. <laughs> cool. No, I'm not, I'm I, not, tried. I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I'm not gonna give y'all a freebie, dog. Okay. <laughs> if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. He say I got a type. I don't think I do. Mm. Type that I like? Maybe. Type that I date? No. Uh we're not gonna talk about that. Um, <laughs> tell the people what your type is, man. Uh-huh. You know why? You know why men don't like telling women their type. Why? I don't know. I'm trying to see if y'all know. Oh, I don't know. Well, I thought you guys were gonna tell me. What do, you, what do you think the reason is that men don't like telling uh, women their type? You trying to? You're not trying to limit your pool. Mm. Like you trying to have as many options as possible. Uh, for I, me, I think for me. I don't know for other men. The reason I don't, I wouldn't tell a girl my type or like even like on online because now when you see me around my type, whoever like that, you especially let's say you're dating, you're going to automatically assume I have something for this girl or you're going to assume that I want to get with that girl. So every time you see someone who is particular to my type, it's a problem now. But if you don't know who my type is, I can be around someone who is absolutely my type and you would never know. You ain't gonna feel some type of way about it, whatever like that. But that's for my reason. I don't know if it's the same way for you, Lou, or... What's your reason, Lou? Both answers are correct. I'll take both answers. It, it don't matter what you take, nigga. What's your answer, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take both answers. It's just, for what? That has nothing to do with you. My type is my type. It's my type. But would you tell a woman that you're talking to she's not your type? Um... Yes. Well, actually, no. If I'm talking to you, then you are my type. If you know, what if I- she's interested in your, you don't have no interest in her. Is it is it, it, it because she's not my type? Then I'll tell her, like, yeah, you 
you don't have the pull, like you you don't pull my interest. Oh, you telling that bitch she ain't got the juice like that for you? No, you yeah. tell her like that? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna a have cold better tack. Oh blooded man. I'm gonna have better tack, but yes. Yeah, if, just if, harsh if, out in these streets. I know you ain't calling nobody harsh, man. <laughs> you rather you rather I lead you rather I lead her on? Miss Ice in the veins. I know you ain't calling nobody cold. <laughs> I will I, 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 I will tell him. I will tell him. Yo, uh, That's like saying if I'll go on a date with somebody I'm not interested in. Mm-hmm. Yes. You'll go with it. You'll yes. go Because yeah, you're hungry, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't you never know. Cause sometimes it's like you might not be interested in the person physically, but then it's like you hang out with them and it's like, oh, he's not that bad. Like uh, I don't yeah. like that. Hey man, I why not? Side. I need you to be um automatically interested in me. I, or automatically not. No, love at first sight, bitch. No, no, that's, that's so phony. That's so fake. That's lust. Me. I don't care. Fake it. God damn it. <laughs> I will fake yeah, it on the day. Yeah, I will that's fake exactly it. That's exactly what it is. That's lust at first sight. Yeah. She's like, ooh, I'm gonna do some things to you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Y'all not gonna know my type. So it's just what it is. If if the one thing I do, my type has to have a great personality. That's just so you're matter. big on personality. I'm huge on personality. So not really looks. Huh? No, I, 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 I fuck with some looks now. <laughs> the other thing is like I like like if I can't if I can't bounce jokes off of you and like we can't have like a good time because thing is. If 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 I end up turning a quiet person in a relationship, that relationship ain't gonna go nowhere. Mm. That's sad. Yeah, because you can talk. I know I can talk. Mm. So yeah, so it I learned I learned the skill set. So it's like, yo, like, all right, bet. So imagine me have some like have a back and forth. Like, I I I wanna be able to like say for instance, me and my girl would go out, whatever, whatever, and I wanna roast people today. You feel me? Mm. I just wanna fire people up as I see them pass mm-hmm. by. You feel me? She gotta be like, look at this nigga. Mm. She go to flaming this nigga. I'm like, yo, get your bean head looking like Mr. Scrooge McDuck head. You just gonna start fighting. I'm like, okay, I fucks with shit like that. You yeah. feel me? Uh, I can tell you. So you like a shit talker? Kinda, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think every guy likes that. We yeah. like that girl we can actually shit talk with. Cause most of y'all don't have that. A lot of y'all be sensitive too. At that? Yeah. So like someone who can go back and forth with you, who can handle her own weight. You feel me? Yeah, basically. So you. So what? Mm-mm. What? Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Don't pull it, don't pull, yeah. Go ahead. No, because what I was going to say, a lot of like, um, oh gosh, this might come off wrong. I don't mean it that way. No, say, say, say it, say it. We don't care how A, lot, a lot of women who used to be bigger, they're the type that can like handle that mm-hmm. roasting, battling mm-hmm. session, like... They're they're built for that. Yeah, you know. Literally. <laughs> <In one way>. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I can I can I can see why you say that because it's more like the lines of people like survival. Yeah, and that's and I think that's the thing you have to be able to be like have the survival. Mode. That's why that's why I really it's, it's the same thing that we was explaining to you why the theory of why we think tall men cannot fight when you get in a fight with a short man he had to fight. <laughs> Here his we whole go life. again. <laughs> You just literally proved our theory, just, our theory just now. Because if, if a fat girl, if she's been roasted her whole life, she's going to develop the skills where yeah. she can defend herself. Her comebacks are yeah, like exactly. sharp. Depending, I mean, compared to a girl who's been told she's been pretty her whole life, the minute yeah. someone says, yo, you ugly, or whatever like that, you don't know how to handle that. Yeah. You're going to break down. And you don't even develop your personality, too, as a, yeah. as a pretty person. Because it's like, for what? Everyone is in my face because then you're like, yo, they, they whatever you say, they're going to think it's interesting just because of, of your looks. Mm. Yeah. That's that pretty privilege. So you like bet. How many times have you, you met a completely gorgeous guy and he was just a completely dull person? I've met ugly people who's the same no, way. But, no, but That's we, sad. How you ugly and boring? Well, obviously, if we're not saying you're not going to find him, but we're talking about the ratio here. We're talking about the ratio. Um, She overlooked it because he looked good. Yeah. That's why he is. That's literally why. Like, you, you, just, you didn't realize, you're like, wait a minute. This nigga yeah. boring. <laughs> Well, yeah, until so like after It's like, oh You wasn't even that yeah, interested My nigga Yeah like, like, you like, shut up baby Just sit there and just be pretty That's 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 what you out here telling them? No I don't, Gosh, no I can't no. have no sit there And be pretty ass bitch I'm like Then like, damn Your girl never talk There's a reason why Yeah There's a reason why That's why you never hear Lori Harvey speak <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't think She has a personality? No I wanted to bet she ain't got no personality. You want to know how I know she has That's crazy because I've never heard her speak yeah, for real. You want to know, 
want to know how I know she ain't got a personality? How? She date Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no she, she, nah, I, I won't say because she date Michael B. Jordan because her caliber of people that she date are all people who just are don't, just don't trash. have personality. No, no, like they just like trash individuals. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you not you not really because if you had a dope personality, you'll be more um you'll be more um conservative about who you share who who you share your energy with, right? You mm-hmm. wouldn't just like, no, I got a cool personality. I'm I'm with this trash ass nigga. No, you're gonna try to match it with someone who who, who me, pairs well with you. Yeah, who can who, elevate exactly. Yeah. And I don't think future is someone you can elevate with. No offense. No, all with, offense, actually. Yeah. But yeah. With my dog eat his cheesecake in peace. I mean, Sierra <laughs> got a personality. She was with Future. It didn't and, last. And, <laughs> look how that went. <laughs> look <laughs> I mean, you can you can obviously be attracted to someone and spend some time with them, but it's not gonna last over mm-hmm. time. That's true. I guess for her, it probably was like she was overlooked. She overlooked him in a certain way. Like, oh, like same way how you said you let a pretty dude like get by. Why are you calling person? him pretty? Uh, I'm so. Oh wait, I'm. So, I'm saying like I don't. I don't know what the reason is. I'm just saying like there must be a reason for like okay, mm-hmm. this person wouldn't pair with me well, so I'm overlooking by something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For Sierra, it's probably something, mm-hmm. and then she's like, damn, that probably sucks. It sucked. But speaking of niggas who uh, are tall who can't fight, <laughs> I know y'all see a lot lately on social media. People just being their ass whooped for some odd reason. I just been seeing a lot more fights. Like we still got. Like we still like everything coming off World Star Hip Hop. Like back in the day, you remember back in the day, everything yeah. World Star Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. Every day was a fight compilation. Mm-hmm. But that's what I've been seeing. One dude getting beat up in a fucking reception. I think of a wedding. Mm-hmm. They out here whooping this nigga ass, trying to like open his eyes to see this ass whooping coming. Um, I seen another video wedding today. Reception though, bro. Like niggas fighting everywhere, bro. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't uh, mess up my day. Hold on. Um, all right. Let me ask you this, Giddy. Can you respect your man if he lost in a fight in front of you? Is it a fair fight? Yes. Yeah, or a, is this like it's a fair one? He's getting jumped. No, it's a fair one. Ain't no, it's it's not a fight. You getting jumped. Yeah, you getting jumped. It's not it's not a fight. Um, he, he got jumped. He ain't she like, don't worry, baby. There was 12 four niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, <laughs> <laughs> like you could like no one had a chance. I think I could still respect him, but I'm going to roast him a little bit for a little minute. And then it's like, okay, it's okay. We all. He can never get rowdy with you ever again in his life, huh? You just know where he stands. Like, I'm not going to instigate shit. Like, because you you don't have my back. You can't fight. It's okay. <laughs> Damn. Like, it's so okay. as soon as he loses a fight, is you can classify him as like, you can't fight. No, no, no. In my head, maybe. If I'm being petty. <laughs> wow. Yes. So, but, so it's like, just because he I lost. Would never, I would never let him know. Like, That's the reason why I automatically break up with you. Because I know it's in your head. <laughs> I know it's in your head forever. You, you, I'm going to cut this high right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. have to no. cut ties. Oh. I lost a fight. I lost a relationship. Yeah. That's just... Yeah, if you lose, if you lose and fight in front of your girl, you just got to break up with her at that point, man. Yeah. Now, that's a pride thing. It is because... But we know... I, th- I think men we move as realists. You feel me? I think mean, y'all y'all like to live in a world where we're like, yeah, let your side of pr- aside, put your pride aside. I'm like, no, but at the end of the day, we know what you're thinking. You feel me? You like you, fuck my pride. I know what you're thinking in your head. You feel me? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you tell y'all telling us to put our pride aside. Always the pride thing is is for us to feel better. You feel me? Yeah, you, exactly. But we, we I'm not falling for that shit. You you might be able to get a redemption. If you're because because I know if if he lost a fight against this nigga, but then he be like, nah, fuck that, I'm gonna fight this nigga again, and he win. Would you would it, would it still would you be like, all right, you kind of redeem yourself? No, because like, I think it's stupid. Well, I feel like we're, <laughs> she like she like there's a risk you no. might get your ass beat again. Because <laughs> I, I feel like we're at an age now too where why are we fighting? Why are you asking like, for a rematch? First of all, <laughs> <laughs> what, is, like, what is the this reason? Like, no, man, yeah. this, this nigga said circumstances did not occur. <laughs> no. There's, there's no, no redemption. fighting. We are calling the police, and like that's it. Like we're not. There's oh, no really fighting. Yeah, you call she, the said, police? <laughs> she said we're calling the police. <laughs> we'll let the authorities handle this one. <laughs> Why are we fighting? Like there's too much to lose. Mm-hmm. Like no. Yeah, yeah. Call the cops. He can't get no type of redemption arc or nothing. Personally, if I'm around, I wouldn't let my significant other get in a fight. We'll like, buy him a gun. You should make sure he has a weapon on him. Then, if you know your man can't fight, get him a gun for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know he can't fight And he like to talk his shit too Like baby let me go get you this gun You feel me Well I don't like being with people Who just like Roddy to Roddy Ruff I said get him a gun I say get him bullets You feel me <laughs> <laughs> Let him wave that shit all day <laughs> <laughs> Make it make sense First what? of all 
First of all, any nigga, any nigga who pulled a gun out and he, if you pull a gun out, you don't shoot somebody instantly. You're not shooting nobody. He don't yeah. know he ain't got no bullets. I don't care if you, you if you, in them. That is so know. dangerous. If you pull out a gun and you don't shoot what somebody instantly, you're not shooting nobody. Well, the gun is just a scare tactic. It's just to scare off that guy until y'all can run away. Yeah, That's but all. if that other person got a gun, he, it, what's he gonna he do? Who pulls this out first? Who go? Who, who gonna let someone pull out oh. a gun? Who gonna who gonna pull out a gun? Who has a gun? Have, okay, who? Gets a gun pulled out on them and then goes to reach for their gun. That doesn't happen. You you stay in put when someone pulls out a gun on you. I don't know. I, I I've never had a gun pulled out on me. I don't Must know. be nice in Naples, huh? <laughs> 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 well, she hit the wrong part of Naples. Wait, yeah, so they were like, oh, oh, there, nigga. Gun <laughs> and I ran. <laughs> oh wow. Well. You. You're this, right. This you, 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 you're gonna if you have a gun and on you, and then obviously someone pull a gun out, out on you. If you have a gun and someone pull a gun on you, you're gonna try to get away to a point. You're like, okay, let me have the upper hand so I can pull out my gun. So if you ever like, if you if you just like ever see videos like some like place get robbed or anything like that, someone else have a gun on them, and then once the person's like slipping in some type of way, shape, or form, it's either they grab the gun or they they pull out their gun and try to bust at that person too. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to pull out a gun, you might as well shoot the person. That's my rule of thumb. Mm. So my, I used to throw rocks at people's cars and shit like that when I was younger. And I guess I, I chose the wrong nigga. <laughs> so that nigga, he smelt the block on my ass. <laughs> so, he, uh, uh, yeah. I didn't, and I, didn't, I didn't see him. I was done throwing rocks for the day. You feel me? So I'm and he was walk. walking? <laughs> Too, because I know if it, he has a casual stroll, I was done. He, he, he never used to walk with a sense of urgency, so I already know the nigga could easily found him. He got like two minutes away from just, the scene of the crime. I was bopping on. I done pulled a four hour, a uh, four eight hour shift in. You feel me? I'm ready to go home. You feel me? He ran on rocks. What was, what was the purpose of that? Did they piss rocks? you off? No, like, I just throw rocks at at cars and shit like that, and break like windows and stuff. It would break whatever was cold. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I was doing. We used to flip over we, barriers. We what? We, 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 like, listen, yeah. my mom couldn't pay for me to be in in, in, in Pee Wee football, all right? So I had to find some shit to do. God damn it! So that's what I was doing. I used to just throw rocks at cars, you know. Pick my fr- my. I had a prime location too. I ain't gonna tell y'all because just in case someone who listening and they had rock. <laughs> this <that> nigga. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, but um, yeah, but that nigga, he like, he like, nah, I'm gonna catch this little nigga. So he spun the he block caught, on he my ass. That little nigga. Yeah, you feel me? No, he didn't catch me. I ran. I ran. And but, you um, did this like every day? No, see, I had kind of like I had a schedule. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I had a schedule. I was, oh, I was part time. Every, every was two part-time. weeks you clock in. <laughs> <laughs> what, was this a way of like releasing anger or like uh, rele- like a uh, coping mechanism for you? A, a, a coping from being broke. When you just hear me, my mom may have the money to put us in extracurricular activities. So I found my own extracurricular activities. And you I was learned. throwing rocks. Why do you, you think my arm is so good? I was throwing rocks when I was little. So, and I had accuracy. How yeah, you, you, you actually did. Throwing rocks at a moving object will build your accuracy. Nigga. That's why I got a nice arm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, whenever you play football, like, yeah, all time quarterback. <laughs> hey, man, throw these things up. Pros <laughs> gone, man. Mm. But, anyways, moving on. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, there's no redemption moving arc. Moving on from throwing rocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What about y'all friends? What you gonna do? Yeah, my friend threw rocks with me too. Shout no, out I to Abraham. <laughs> Rest in peace to Abraham. 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 <laughs> okay. But your friends. I'm talking about fighting. Oh, oh. I'm talking about fighting. Can my friends fight? Would you would you lose respect for your friend if he lost in a fight? No. Not if you already knew they can't fight. Oh. First of all, I mean, why I, are you letting them fight if they can't fight? I, you can't control your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, even you know what's even worse? You know your friend can't fight. And then y'all get into an altercation with a nigga and he's like just, talking mad shit. So you instigate your nigga like, Yo, you gonna let that nigga talk to you like mm-hmm. this? Knowing your friend can't fight. Yo, whoop this nigga, son. <laughs> <laughs> now you being a wrong friend. You being a bad friend. You know what's no. funny? Because I know, because I know how some niggas be like, Yeah, man, whoop this nigga, son. And you talk to the other friend like, like, Yo, this nigga about to get his ass beat. <laughs> He about to get his ass fucking beat. You jump in? He about to fuck that. It's a fair up. one. If it's a fair one, I'm not jumping in. Listen here. I'm a duck. Nah. Yeah. We nigga. Unless you fall on the floor and that nigga starts kicking you, then you jump in. Like you unconscious yeah. and he yeah. starts like, yeah, then you jump in that. I'm telling y'all, women don't know what a fair fight is. Yeah, yeah, don't. Cause yeah. as soon as one person throws hands, everybody's jumping in. 
Y'all have no concept of a fair fight for real. Y'all be trying to fight yeah. niggas six five. Like you really, you really think he gonna take it easy on you? Like yes. Is that, I don't think that's how, that's how I know y'all have no concept of a fair fight. I'm a female. Yes. <laughs> Oh shit! I see. I seen that one view of this girl. She had. She this was. It was like a taller nigga. She hit that nigga. Hit that nigga. Fucking reset. But that boy's. <laughs> that boy. You know. You know how that boy fell. You know, from like the toys from Toy Story. Man, when Andy oh, used to come in, come in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that boy fell just like that. I was like, sheesh. Like yo, like you hitting niggas reset, but I was like. That's that bitch, nigga. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no. Yeah, but the thing is, if my friends are fighting one on one, you gotta play it. I'm a I'm a coach you on the side. I'm like, hey man, don't let that nigga, hey man, hit that nigga, bro. I'm like, I'm, I'm be the, I'm be your corner man, you feel Fight me? Back. <laughs> <laughs> but like say for instance, like someone like if as soon as anyone else tries to try to step in, nah, nigga, fuck all that. We out here. Yeah. We, it's, I'm going to turn it to another fair one I'm going to add myself to the equation to make it another fair one You feel me? You fight that nigga Don't worry about this other nigga who try to jump in Don't worry about it, you know what I'm saying? I got you You, uh, think, you think that's how you should start Because I know you ever always see like the uh, videos of like girls down at South Beach And mm-hmm. it's just like a big brawl fighting mm-hmm. You think that's how it usually happens? One of them is getting a fair fight And then the rest try yeah. to jump in Yes, so instantly, yeah. instantly. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's probably because how this you're, Like as women... You, most of the time, it's not really your fight. You're fighting to protect your friend. Yeah. Like, I told my friends and my story sisters, everybody knows this. If I got on a wig and it's not secure, mm. I am not fighting. Mm. And, Ew. like, back in college, <laughs> there was this one group that I hung out with. They would always get in a fight. I would tell them beforehand, like, yo, my wig is not secure. Like, I'm not fighting. Now, y'all on your own. Now, I'll hold everything. Now, if it's, your, if it's that one friend that constantly gets in a fight that always gets y'all in the fight, and you know she can't fight, do y'all be mad at her at the end when y'all don't fight? After, yeah. Like, like where the bitch, fuck you gonna fight? You, know like, you can't fight, bitch. You yeah. out here popping your mouth and shit like that. And, like, at that point, like, do you, how, when do y'all You, you have to start checking her before she even try to get yeah. off. Say, hey, bitch, shut yeah. up. Yeah. Nah, but you know, like, when you know you're around a group of people who got your back, mm-hmm. you're all big and bad. Even if you know you can't fight. Yeah, niggas do that. Like, too. I know they're going to jump in. Yeah. So, I'm going to talk my bitch. ish. I'm going to fool you today. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to cheat. <laughs> I ain't never jumped in because, uh-uh. She like, listen here. Uh-uh. My, my wig is not getting snatched off any of you I will hold your phone. I will hold your glasses, your purse, whatever. She like, bitch, give me your earrings. <laughs> you know what you know that? Because she, she remind me of? It remind me back in the day. Uh, it was a uh, twin. They was out here fighting. Uh, mm-hmm. it was, they, had a, they had a one-on-one. <laughs> And then they had told the nigga like, nah, nigga, you not hitting this nigga back. You better sit here and let him beat you up. <laughs> what? What? Jerry, Terry. <laughs> Yo, so imagine you trying to fight a nigga, and then you find a nigga like, nah, nigga, you not swinging back. You gonna let this nigga beat you up? <laughs> no, that's why. Yeah. That's why. So like, look, like, nah, I just gotta tell this ass. Like, listen here, it's like we fight one on one and I lose, or we fight one on one and we fight and I get jumped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you can fight, but then you ain't gonna try to hit this nigga too hard. And guess what's gonna happen to you, fam? No, no, that's why. Because I've seen fights where like women are fighting, and like it's a fair, it's a one on one, and then they'll get to fighting, and then the girl get to beating the girl ass. Like, oh, don't be hitting my friend, and they start yeah. jumping in. I'm like, what the fuck? This is a fight. That's how it's supposed to happen. This yeah, no. lose. <laughs> it, it, can't, it can't be. It's a not gonna be my friend. <laughs> it's a fixed fight. <laughs> This is not a person we had scheduled to win on this match. <laughs> no. But guys don't really fight though. Y'all be like, "What's up? What's up?" And then, like dance around. Y'all don't really throw punches or do anything. And they wasn't trying to fight for real. Yeah. Nah, yeah. like nah, all, all it takes is one "What's up?" and then that's it. Nah, y'all just be like, "What's up? What's up?" If what's a nigga really trying to fight, all niggas that don't fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. all it takes is all it takes is one like one like sometimes. That's, even with, yeah, that's all it really take down here. One "What's up?" and you fighting, nigga. Like, Mm-mm. well, I don't know what type of niggas you. Fight. <laughs> you fight. You better make sure your "What's up?" is in the right tone, nigga. Like when you tell a nigga "What's up?" or you you got to make sure it's in the right tone because the nigga might take it the wrong way. You know what's funny too? I was watching a it was an interview by G Herbo. He was talking about uh, Bibby. You know. You know who Bibby is, right? Yeah, yeah. The light skin deep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh he was saying, like, yo, like, he's like dealing with like Bibby and shit like that. He was like, yo, if I could be having, I could be having like almost like an altercation with it. like he like they see me like do this a little bit two one times with a nigga, bro. Yeah. They got heard slumping niggas like <laughs> fuck all this other shit, nigga. And I was thinking about something like, yo, like, yeah, it's the yeah. same way for me and my friends. Like, yo, if I see you kind of get like I can tell from this, like, wait, you getting kind of rowdy with yeah, a nigga. Yeah. Now I'm kind of like, all right, who we gotta knock out, nigga? 
Because you can look at your friends and just by their interaction. And you think, can tell, like, yeah. we fighting a nigga today. Mm-hmm. You like, all right, hit this nigga, and whoever jump in, we I'm hitting that nigga too. Yeah, because like if if I your friends should know you so well, like if they do see you in an interaction from far mm-hmm. away, they shouldn't have to walk over and be like, hey, hey what's going on? on? No, they should already be knowing, like, just from your interaction, like, yo. What's the name looks like this when he about to fight? That nigga, and he's talking to this person and they look a little rowdy over there. I'm not asking no question when we come over there. We automatically, is already on go when you get over Mm-mm. there. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you had the most speed dial for real. <laughs> it's only three numbers. <laughs> <laughs> She's that person have a save though. <laughs> I don't have the energy for that. So like, yeah, it's giddy again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They know you already. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah that's definitely more happen. Like for group fights, yeah, that's definitely more about to happen. Like, like my homeboy see, like, listen here. My homeboy out here, like, uh, he if he at the point where he about to hit this nigga, I'm like, nigga, you taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming across the room like I'm gonna hit this nigga, I'm gonna fight him, and you better cut, you better come fight this other nigga, whoever gonna cut, try swing next. So you're nigga. like the instigator type. If it comes down to it, yes. Yeah. Why um, not try to stop it instead of age. instigate it? I don't fight no more, so yeah. But uh, why am I fighting to begin with? What? It, if I only fight if it's necessary, but other than that, like, mm. fuck that. Like, if you can get us out of a fight, I got too fight, much though, time. How? What's the proper way to get yourself out of a fight? Well, no, my talk game is so well, I can get I can get anybody out of a fight. I do that too. I get people out of fights. So, what is the proper way for your all right for your man? All right. If your man is like, you see that he's starting to have like a little altercation with the next man. Yeah. You can see that a fight is about to be, the, a fight is imminent. You are, All right. It's, it's, yeah. There's three things you could probably do. Oh. Well, I already know he's not going to hit me. So I'm going a, I'm to a come in front of him. Yeah. Like, hey, it's not worth it. Like, what are you doing this for? Who, oh, wait, who not going to hit you? My man. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Not the other guy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's like, hey, we're calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty. Well, you still, still going to call it. Like, say, for instance, your man beat him up. You still going to call the cops? Yes, because what was the reason for that? Like, no. Damn, she's like, she like, damn, she can't let the man get that. She can't let that nigga just get an ass from Like, no, you're going to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wild. Now you wild. No. <laughs> like, just, no. Don't do it. Hey. But yeah, I was um, step in front of him and okay. try to like talk to him and whatnot. Okay, yeah. what's another way for him? What's a way for him to properly walk away from a fight? No, 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 no. He's not gonna properly. I don't, walk yeah, away. I don't think guys. Y'all yeah, so prideful. Yeah. Me? So this is what you do. You feel me? It's two ways you can go about it. I usually choose the second route. We first route you gotta blame it on uh, him being drunk. Hey, my my bad about my friend. He gets like this sometimes when he drink. He ain't mean nothing about it. I promise you. In fact, he don't even know how to fight. Dog. You and you do this while you pulling the guy away, or whatever. The second way, I actually had a lot of people say do that. Before. Yeah, yeah, you just blame it on him being drunk. Yeah, yeah I heard a lot of people understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, he's a little rowdy man. Yeah, just keep that man over there. That's all. That's what they're gonna tell you. Just keep him over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Second way, you could blame it on him being cheated on. You feel me? Like, hey man, <laughs> I apologize for my friend. We just mm. found out his girl cheated on him. I I'll give an extra sympathy for that. No, I'll give an extra sympathy for that one. Dog. Has sympathy for a guy. Oh, that I have never heard on. of I'm that one. He just got cheated on. You got to make it bad. Like, yeah, he's just fine. Like, he got cheated on. He showed up to his house. He, she had another man in bed with the baby next with, to him. Like, oh, you got to make it bad. Like, damn, damn dog. I'm bro. bad for that nigga. Oh, my hey, God. Hey, man, let me buy you another drink, dog. Yeah, Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, man, you got a friend in me, my nigga. <laughs> That's sad, bro. I'm like, yeah. damn. You hate to see it, bro. Listen here, man. No. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't mean. He just missed her. He just yeah. redirecting anger towards you, man. That's he, the one yeah. thing I can't handle is heartbreak. Yeah, that heartbreak, man. Yeah. You're going to understand that. Yeah. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll let that slide. <laughs> but then you just had that one nigga who just don't care. Hey, my fault's having him to control his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that yo, yo, words right there. Don't be the boss of those <laughs> ass niggas, man. Right? Hey, you just turned to your boy. Listen, I tried. You just got to fight. <laughs> That, that's yeah, the that's the full that. on instigator ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't care. They don't care. Listen, <laughs> they on some Finley shit from fucking WWE. My name is Finley, and I love the fight, nigga. They they go out to the club like nigga. We knocking niggas out yeah. today. Mm. Who we got to hit, nigga? Yeah. That you mean one them niggas that goes out to pl- places like where you supposed to enjoy yourself and vibe, and your first thing is like, I want to fight a nigga. Like you, the worst type of nigga. Yeah. They go out with black Air Force Ones. Yeah, you going out to a party? <laughs> and you insta- all this ass around, you want to put your hands on another nigga. <laughs> Like, that's wild as shit, like. Yo, all this ass around, you focus on me, nigga? Yeah. Like, 
Anyways, man, yeah. y'all been talking for too long. Y'all want to wrap it up now? Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, yeah. First of all, if you if you if you can't fight, don't be talking shit and trying to like start shit. If you can't fight, you can get your ass. Whooped. That part. Um, but niggas, you have excuses now. You have ways that you can try to get out of a fight, and your girl is present because obviously you just can't walk away. And she's like, "Damn, so you just gonna let this nigga bitch you and just walk away like calmly, like man." Uh. <laughs> You can't do that. Apparently, there's ways you, you got two ways. You feel me? You're like, or even if nah. your home, even if your homeboy, like he, clearly he can't fight. But then you have a way. Like, okay, you could you could like try to save him. Like, listen, my friend is drunk. Yeah. All right, he got heartbreak. So those are your two ways that you got. You feel See, me? Now, if you, if you if you don't want to be bitched in front of your girl, you gotta pretend like you know that nigga. You feel me? You get in a fight, or you look like you're about to get in a fight. You just gotta turn your girl like, nah, babe, he joking. They, he always played like that. You feel me? <laughs> last, the last week he said he was gonna shoot me too. You feel me? Nah, I don't even play no game. He knows me, shut I'm gonna see you later. You feel me? Like, just walk away. He would have been walk- so confused. Exactly. Like, what? Exactly. That's better. <laughs> and he would be like, yeah, pussy. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm not like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. Just get out of there, man. Yeah, I got, yeah, that's true. I do got too much pride. What's wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> or you could do my way and just call the cops. We not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fight a nigga. I want a nigga dead, bro. Like, damn, bro. I know. If I wanted a nigga dead, I'm going to do it myself. You going all the way, Giddy. Like, yeah. shit. But anyway, Don't man, bother me. Just run. Get out of there, man. Like J. Cole said, how you going to jump me and my feet work? You feel me? Just get out of there. That's all you got to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, y'all want to close out the show? Yeah, so, all right, so you have your ways to get a fight. So, um, yeah, thank you for listening to the It's a Black Thing podcast. We are very grateful to everyone listening to us. Check out our YouTube, you feel me? It may not drop on Mondays, but it drops some days, all right? So check out the YouTube. Nah, nigga, it drop all the time on Mondays, all right? <laughs> it drop on Mondays, all right? <laughs> It drops, all right. <laughs> we just got the rest of those other words. It, it drops. drops. You feel me? You definitely check us out on all our social media: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. We probably have to create a Reddit account. Mm-hmm. Um, TikTok, y'all. You know, if y'all want to see Jody out here doing his little TikTok dances, no, we ain't doing <laughs> we ain't doing it. <laughs> You're, but he's a dancer. No, Who can, you you ain't even said that y'all can't dance no more. I got two left feet. Yeah, but um, yeah, you can go and check out all our social media. Um, definitely follow Get Get Nut on her social media. Go ahead, drop the social. Giddy loves J One. Yeah, you know she's be- beginning to be a prominent face around here on uh, it's a Black Thing podcast, and they the love me. So yeah, we thinking about keeping her around, you guys. So if you find uh, her annoying, too bad. All right, she's here. She's here right <laughs> the fact that he tried to make you like I was like they had a choice. Like yeah, we can be like yeah. she's not a great thing. Like suck <laughs> my dick. <laughs> From the back, nigga. Like, like, don't matter what you care about, nigga. What? Mm-hmm. Well, what you so about? you like your butt eating? Who, okay, me? no, we're closing the show. No, I might. Shit. <laughs> How much tongue you using? <laughs> all right, we out of here, y'all. Yeah, man. man, we out of here, man. Follow us on all social media, man. We out of here, man. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a better week. Mm-hmm. I hope your month is full of successful days and a lot of great ventures. I hope you just come up, brother. I hope your whole fucking year is spectacular. Your whole fucking year is spectacular.